Hello and welcome back to this course. In the previous session, we have discussed the overview of C programming language. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss the basics of C language. Communicating with the computer involves speaking the language the computer understands, which immediately rule out English as the language of communicating with computer. However, there is a close analogy between learning English language and learning C language. Now, the classical method of learning English is to first learn the alphabets, then learn to combine these alphabets to form words, which in turn are combined to form the sentences, and sentences are combined to form paragraphs. Learning C is similar and easier. Instead of straight away learning how to write program, we must first know what alphabet numbers and special symbols are used in C. Then how using them constant variables and keywords are constructed. And finally, how are these combined to form an instruction? Group of instructions could be combined later on to form a programs. There are four important aspects of any language. That is the way it stores the data, the way it operates upon the data, how it accomplishes input and output, and how it lets you control the sequence of execution. Now let's talk about the C character set. Character denotes any alphabet, digit, or special symbol used to represent information. The alphabets that are used in C language is the same that are used in English. That is from A to Z, both the capital and small letters. Digits that is from zero to nine. Special symbols that are available on our keyboard. Now these are combined to form constants. It's an entity that does not change. Variables entity that may change, and finally keywords, which are the words whose meaning has already been explained to C compiler. Combining all these groups together are called tokens in C language. Now let's discuss the types of C constant. Basically, C constants can be divided into two major categories. That is primary constants. And secondary constants. Primary constants involve integer constant, real constant, character constant. Whereas secondary constants are array, pointer, structures, union, enum, etc. Now at this stage, we would restrict our discussion in only primary constant, namely integer, real, and character constant. Integer constant. An integer is a number whose range depends upon the compiler. If compiler is of 16 bit, then the range is from minus 3 to 768 to plus 3 to 767. Now the rules for constructing an integer constant is: it must have at least one digit. It must not have a decimal point. It can be both positive and negative. Number without sign is positive. Commas or blanks are not allowed. Range as defined by the compiler. Example: as you can see, 426 plus 782 minus 8000. Minus seven six zero five and etc. Next is real constant. Real constants are often called floating point constant. These can be written in two forms: the fractional and exponential form. And the rules for constructing a constant: it must have at least one digit. It must have a decimal point. Can be both positive and negative. And default sign is positive. Commas or blanks are not allowed. And if I talk about exponential form, then the range is defined from minus three point two e raised to the power thirty eight. To plus 3.4 e raised to power 38. As an example, we can see plus 3 to 5.34, 426.0, minus 32.76, minus 48.5792. These are the fractional form representation. If I am talking about exponential, then examples can be plus 3.2 e raised to power minus 5, 4.0 e raised to the power 8, minus 0.2 e raised to the power 3. Minus 3.2 e raised to the power minus 5, and the last one is character constant. Now, a character constant is single alphabet, single digit, or special symbol enclosed within a single inverted commas. Now, inverted commas must be pointed to left for valid character constant. Maximum length of a character constant can be one character. Now, as an example, you can see a enclosed with single inverted commas. Similarly. L five and equal to sign. Next is variables. Now variables are the entity that may vary during program execution. This is the name given to location on memory. And the rules for constructing a variable is that name of variable is a combination of alphabets, digits, or underscores. Maximum length of a variable name can be two forty seven characters. It is safe to stick to thirty one character for simplicity. First character must be an alphabet or underscore. That means it should not start with digit. Again, commas or blank spaces are not allowed. Special symbols are not allowed except underscore. You can see the example. 
ग्रॉस अंडर स्कोर सैलरी एस आई अंडर स्कोर एंट एम अंडर स्कोर एच आर ए पॉप अंडर स्कोर ई अंडर स्कोर एटी नाइन एक्सेट्रा न द वेरिएबल नेम्स फॉलो द सेम रूल फॉर बोथ प्राइमरी एज वेल एज सेकेंडरी टाइप फाइनली द की वर्ड नाउ की वर्ड आर द रिजर्व वर्ड दैट हैव सम स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल बाय द कंपाइलर इट सेल्फ सो इन द फिगर यू कैन सी देर आर थर्टी टू की वर्ड अवेलेबल इन सी लैंग्वेज लाइक ऑटो ब्रेक केस कैर कॉन्स्ट कंटिन्यू डिफॉल्ट डू डबल एल्स इनम एक्सटर्न फ्लोट फॉर गो टू एफ एंट लॉन्ग रजिस्टर रिटर्न शॉर्ट साइंड साइज ऑफ स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्ट स्विच टाइप डेफ यूनियन अनसाइंड वॉइड वॉलेटाइल वाइल्ड सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू राइट आर